Hi everyone, this is Dave and welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. I've got a really cool microphone to show you today. This is the Blue Ember. This is a studio condenser microphone, connects via XLR. It's got a really nice design to it and a superb sound signature. I'm going to be giving you a sound demo during this live broadcast and also look around the mic. Uh, this is the product box. I should let you know that Blue sent this out to me so that I could actually bring you this video, but all of the opinions expressed are indeed my own. There are also links down in the video description to where you can pick this up for yourself, including the link to the Blue website. And the Amazon links are affiliate links. They give me a little bit of commission, help support the channel, but they don't cost you a penny extra. Now, before we get on with the actual audio test and a look at the mic, I want to say a big hello to Rob Maguire and Muttley, both in the live broadcast. Thank you very much for joining live. If you're watching after the live broadcast, you can use the regular comment section below. Now, this is the product box. Let's give you a quick look around this. So we've got the Ember mic on the front there, some details on all the sides. It's just a nice, simple box. Now, inside the box, you get the microphone itself. You also get an instruction manual and you also get a mount. This is a standard mount. This threaded collar goes onto the microphone itself, and then this one goes onto your stand, and there's a little adapter inside there, so it will adapt the size for different types of microphone stand. And then, of course, you get the microphone. Now, I've got it plugged in at the moment. I'll give you a closer look at this uh, once it's uh, unplugged, but I just wanted to um, you know, give you a good look at this and the audio test first. So this is the microphone portion, this top portion here. Now it is an XLR mic, so normally you would have this plugged in via an XLR cable, and I could have it running into one of my audio interfaces, but that would introduce some uh, sort of sound signature perhaps that has been added by the audio interface. So I wanted to keep this plugged in solely using Blue products. So on the bottom here, I've got a blue icicle. Uh, this converts XLR to USB, so it's currently connected via USB. And my level controls are controlled both by my streaming software, but also this little tiny dial just here. Uh, it's a really nice looking mic, but I think we should just have a listen to it. I'm gonna do this handheld and hold it as still as possible. So let me just switch over to the blue, uh, blue Ember microphone. So now what you're hearing is the Blue Ember, a very, very nice sounding microphone. I've had a listen to this prior to doing the broadcast, and I think it sounds extremely nice. Very, very clear, uh, a very nice um, a sort of neutral tonality to it, and I think it's a, a very accurate microphone. I also like the fact that it's a nice slimline design. I think it looks absolutely superb. Now, if I just move round to the back, you'll see that the levels drop off a little, a little bit because it is more of a front address microphone. And now we move back round to having this front facing. So now we've got the logo facing me and I'm addressing the microphone correctly. Now I can adjust the levels with the icicle, so I'm gonna keep talking whilst I adjust the levels. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And you'll see now it's getting a little bit too hot. So we will just reduce the levels back down on the blue icicle. And the blue icicle does a really nice job of actually giving a very nice sound. as Well, well not a very nice sound, but a very uh, clean signal path, I should say, to the audio that's coming from the microphone. I wish this was a different design i wish it wasn't sort of so elongated i wish it was like a more compact design but i can forgive it for that and we're more concentrating on the sound from the blue ember microphone at the moment it sounds really clear very very impressed indeed so let's just switch back now that you've heard the audio from the blue ember to my regular mic which is my little lapel mic just here so now we're back on the regular microphone. Now I can touch this without um, sort of giving you any uh, sort of horrible noises 
in your speakers or your earphones. So let's give you a closer look at this. I don't want to unplug it because I don't want to make my uh, uh, streaming software crash, but here is the Blue Ember mic. Very, very nice design, as you can see. Very slim line. I like this sort of, um, uh, it's sort of got a bluey gray, like a bluey gray effect to the microphone. It's very, very nice indeed. Really nice coloring to it. And here you can see some of the detail on the microphone as well. I'm just trying to get it to focus on the mic for you. There you go, look at that. It's a very, very nice mic. And then down this end, it's more polished. And then we've got the XLR connector just here. And then the icicle, for those of you who haven't seen the blue icicle before, looks like this. It just plugs in via XLR. And then we've got a mini USB to full size USB A type cable uh, going out to my audio interface. The blue light on the icicle is a nice touch. Do like that. But here we go, this is the Blue Ember. If you're looking for a studio condenser microphone, which really does offer up some very nice clean audio in what I think is a, a relatively compact package, then I think you should definitely consider this. It's very clean, very crisp, very detailed audio. I tested it via XLR as well, and the sound signature remained rock solid, a very, very nice performance. Uh, and as I mentioned before, a really neutral tonality to this. Uh, in what is a very solid microphone, I do like it. Some microphones are so big and cumbersome, this is very, very nice indeed. I think Blue have done an amazing job on this. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, there is a link down in the video description to the Blue website. There's also links to where you can pick this up for yourself, so please do check out those links. And thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate you tuning in. If you've got any questions at all about the uh, Blue Ember, please do leave them in the comments section below. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. Please subscribe and also hit the notification bell. That way you get a notification when I go live on YouTube. And one last thing, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. For those of you who've stayed tuned in right to the end of this video, you'll notice uh, I've got quite a lot of lamps around me. Maybe that's a little clue as to what video's coming up next. Have a fantastic week ahead, everyone. I'll see you all in the next one.